Hello there, welcome to Clay Art Studio 814 here in Sacramento. We are a working, functioning studio with about 12 members. I joined the studio back in 2012, so a couple of years now that I've been working here. Um, but I've been doing ceramics for about 10 years. Um, my name is Jeff Parody, and I wanted to take an opportunity to introduce myself and talk just a little bit about the ceramic work that I do here and to also show you the piece that I've donated to the Crocker for their art auction. Um, I, really quickly about myself, um, although I've been doing ceramics 10 years, I have a long history of painting and printmaking going back to college, and so that influences my ceramics a lot. Um, and in this past December, I retired from my position as a faculty member at Sacramento State, where I was teaching chemistry for 26 years. So I'm officially retired and I get to call myself a full-time artist now, which, which I love. Um, my work focuses, like I said, on surface treatment because of that background that I have in painting. And so you're gonna see really interesting surfaces and decorations on my pieces. And I think that um, couldn't be more true than the piece that I've donated to the Crocker. And it's this piece here. It's uh, fairly small for the, the work I normally do. This one's about six inches tall. Um, but don't let its smallness fool you. It, it really packs a punch, and I think it's a great conversation piece. Um, it really shows you the possibilities with of ceramics can do. Um, I started with a stoneware cylinder. I, I just fold it up as a slab, and then I make a cylinder out of it. And then by hand, I make all of these individual fins that you see around it as I spin it. And I think when you know when you go to the Crocker, if you go to see these pieces when they're there, um, you're, you're really going to see that handwork there. You're going to see the fingerprints along the edge. And I think that's one of the exciting things about ceramics, that oftentimes you can see the hand of the artist on the piece afterwards, unlike something that you would buy, you know, machine made or cast at a, at a store. So um, after it was all um, you know, constructed, it goes into the kiln to be fired and kind of give it a little bit of strength. And then we start the decoration process and I chose this uh, beautiful blue, kind of a cobalt blue for the cylinder. And you can see I also highlighted each of the fins with blue to kind of make them stand out a little bit. Um, last step, a uh, nice clear coat of celadon over that. And that seals it up, makes the inside watertight. So you really could use this as a vase you want and it looks gorgeous with flowers. But again, I want my pieces to stand alone as, as, as a piece of art on their own. So I think that you know this could stand um, on your coffee table or a bookshelf all by itself and hold its own. So that's the piece I've donated to the Crocker. 100% of the proceeds will go to the Crocker. I mentioned also, just really quickly, I mentioned that I was also a painter. And so um, I wanted to show you the piece. I also donated a painting. And this one is in the big name small art part of the auction. And so this is the piece that I've donated. A um, little unusual for me. My paintings tend to be abstract and this is a pretty recognizable scene. I've got a hard line type painting, hard edge painting, uh, just a, a nice tranquil beach scene. So this will be there for big name small art auction. So I hope that you will join me in supporting the um, the Crocker. The bidding will be starting in mid-May and it will be on BidSquare. So I hope to see you there. Thank you.